I haven't done a cooking video in like months, but I now today I have some energy to do it. And it will be pancakes. So this is how we do pancakes in this household. The ingredients you will need is because I'm doing it for both me and my mom. So ingredients you will need is some eggs. For this, for both two people, I'll use four eggs, some milk, um, butter, salt, vanilla sugar, and flour. It's that easy. So, let's see if I can get a good angle. So. Okay, would you want to start off with the eggs and the milk? Um, for this recipe it's 6 deciliters of milk, but I ran out of regular milk alike. So it's, so it's a mixture of regular milk or lacto lactose intolerant milk and rice milk, like a 5 to 1 ratio. And well you want 6 dec deciliters. So I'll just pour it all in. And then put all the eggs in. So now when you put all the eggs and the flour in, you want to mix it up. So, wait, yes, <laughs> you want to mix it up. And I wouldn't do it like super fast, because you don't want to mix it like super good, you just want the milk and the eggs to, well, become one. Kind of like that. And now, <laughs> insert all other ingredients. But first we want to, well, make the butter warm or liquefy it. I want to use, like, this type of butter, which is always already liquid, because it's easier, it's faster, it tastes the same to me. And this you want uh, like four teaspoons, not teaspoons, uh, tablespoons. So four tablespoons of, <laughs> of butter, of like fat. Then I'm going to put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. So, I put it in for 20 seconds because of the amount of butter it is. It needs a bit more, well, time in the microwave. And now, let's see. Oh fuck, I can't get good angles. Now we want 6 deciliters of flour. And, well, this you can just put straight into your mixture. And you know guys, I put in too much flour. You want three deciliters. So I'm see it's gonna remove one here. And see if I can manage to remove one more. Yeah, like that. So now we have like three deciliters in there. Mm. 
Now we want to put in our butter. And we want to put in a little bit of salt, like two, uh, what are they called? Kryddmots. Whatever it is, it's, you want to put in two milliliters, basically, of salt. Two. And then, like, the thing that's going to make this thing or this pancake a bit sweet are the vanilla sugar and this um, you want teaspoons you could put four to four and a half I'm going to put in four because I don't know if we have enough like that's two three Yeah, four. And then we have like one more in there because it's almost empty. And now we have all our ingredients. We want to mix it up very well. We don't want any clumps or absolutely anything. So, so I put it. I'm so sorry for the angles this time. It has been not ideal. And I like to start off slowly just to get the initial mixture of all the dry ingredients and the well the non-dry the wet. So you start off, make sure you get the sides. And then you just slowly build up the speed. So this I'll cut out since it's just making sure that there's no clumps and this takes like five to six minutes. And now it's gone like five minutes maybe a bit less and the uh, well it looks like this it's pretty w semi watery right now but that's what you want for now because you're gonna let this rest here for 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes and the uh, the mixture will become a little bit denser but the thing that's good with this recipe is the fact that it is not so dense as some else. This is more milky than others. And well it makes it just makes it much tastier. So I'll be back in like 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll cook it. Alright, now it has gone been like <laughs> a bit more than 20 minutes. I forgot a bit. But you can probably see that. It has become a bit more dense and now we want to start cooking it. I'm using a pan that's like specifically made for pancakes. At least that's what I'm using to power it on. I mean I find it so much easier to do that. And I'll recommend taking a clean one deciliter thing like this because per pancake you want to use kind of like almost a deciliter of dough or mixture, whatever you want to call this. Alright, like that. Then you just wait. <laughs> the first pancake is going to take the longest time to make. 
this is like the part I enjoy the least of making pancakes. Uh, I mean, if you had chocolate thingies or whatever, I'm sure you could put, you know, on it, but I don't want to. So, yeah, I don't know if I said how warm it is, but it's on that. 7 out of 9. So like a medium high. And the difference with these, I know some people say like when it starts bubbling whatever in the middle, then you want to flip them. Uh, for me it's basically like... I don't really have a rule. I just flip them when I think I need to flip them. Because this mixture right here doesn't really bubble the same way as you would see in other pancakes. Alright. Well. The first pancake is always like the dummy one. I don't know why it's like that. Always like that, but you'll see that. After the first one, the others will be, look much, much better. And I think I put a little bit too little butter, but we'll see. And then we just wait. I mean, cooking this many pancakes will probably take like 20 to 30 minutes. So let's see. Yeah, the first one is done. That's often how the first one <laughs> looks like. It looks like shit, right? You can probably see the difference already. This is what I want it to look like immediately. I want the side to get this like spidery thing effect. So this I like. I'll just show this one and then I'll stop recording because you don't need to see me for like 30 minutes doing nothing. Just frying pancakes. Yeah, that hole right there is because I accidentally hit the frying pan with this one when I was putting in the dough and I fucked it up. And like that is basically how they will look. I don't like my pancakes to be round. I like them to just, well, be anything but round. So I'll come back to you when I'm done. Yeah, and this is how the pancakes start looking after the first two pancakes. Oh shit.
And this is how they end. Oh, come on. When I start recording, I don't know why, but the focus on the camera starts fucking up all the time. You fucking piece of shit. And then it glides. What the fuck? Oh god. Oh, fuck it. Here we have the perfection. <laughs> Oh shit, I forgot my cutlery. I'll be back. Alright, so... you. Can, I mean, the pancakes... I've done this a lot, so I know they're fucking delicious, like always. Put some... Um, strawberry... Silt. I don't know what that's called in English, but... Yeah, delicious. I also tested this from Walden Farms. This pancake syrup. The, only, the reason why I bought it is because it's zero calories. Or it's advertised as zero calories. The truth, I don't know, but... It's okay. I mean, it is syrup. And... It, it tastes more like maple syrup than, you know, the syrup I prefer, which is just light syrup. Yeah, it's decent. I actually prefer using the, this one in my teas instead of sugar, stevia, or uh, that other thing. Agave. Instead of agave and all those shits, I prefer using this in my tea. Mm. Yeah, what can I say? They're good. If you guys ever make this one, I don't remember where the original recipe is. I do know that this. I do know that this recipe is from somewhere, but I modified some things. I think they used sugar, and I swapped out the amount of fucking sugar they used for vanilla, for a little bit of vanilla sugar. And I think that's, and I think the, but the ratios, I think I, the milk, and they also used. Fuck, what is it called? Almond milk. Which, I tried it, I didn't like, so I switched that out for regular milk. And this one pretty good. I'll probably try out, and even, uh, next time I do this, I'll probably try out, like, if I do, if I do double si size, let's say, it was 6 deciliter milk, this time it was 5 deciliter regular milk. And one deciliter rice milk. Next time I'll probably try four deciliter regular milk, two deciliter rice milk. So, yeah. Have a good cooking. <laughs>